Hey, what's up guys? I'm Evan, and today I'm going to be looking at the localization module as part of Expo. Uh, it's also in the Expo localization package, which the link will be in the description below. Uh, and we're just going to look at how to use it really quickly. Now, localization helps you translate your app so that people who speak other languages than you can look at your app in their native language. Now, the localization module in particular will get the native language that the user is using on their phone. If you look over here, you see I'm using the uh, English language, of course, and uh, I have a translated value, which is just foo. Uh, I have my time zone. I'm actually in the Bay, not in Los Angeles. The country, which is US, and then right to left, which is false. If you were to use something like the Hebrew language, then it would be right to left text, which I will show you here in a second. But first, let's look at the source code. The goal with this one, I just wanted to make it work really well with uh, popular internationalization languages, or I18N, which is a num uh, numer numeronym. So say you have a value, which is like login, for instance, which, uh, you know, popular, maybe you have this, then it would be login in English, and then in French, it would be something else. But you would put login and then whatever the translation is. I don't actually speak any other languages outside of like JavaScript and Objective-C. This will have to this will have to do for now. If I had a login button, like say this was my login button, I could call i18n.t and then just add the value that I want. So in this case, it would be login and then it will get login. Now, if my app were in French, which as you can see right here, we're using uh, translations, we're passing in the values that we have and then we set our localization from our native phone's language. Now I can just go ahead and override this by passing in FR, which is the French ISO code, and now it will use the the French word for login, which is... Uh, I don't actually speak any other languages. Now you see we have fallback specified to true, even though this is the default value. Basically what fallbacks will do is it will use one language as the default language, so if a value isn't specified, like for instance login, then it will just fall back to English, which it does right here which is pretty convenient, which means that you can just go at whatever pace you want. You can also specify variables in here, like um, some value. And then I can target the variable right here by using two curly brackets, kind of similar to Angular. And then I can pass in the name of this with the variable, and then it can append the variable to the string. But that's more of an I18N thing and not really a localization thing. So in regards to time zone, you may be like, Evan, this uh, doesn't really matter at all, and you're partially correct. So there's a couple of ways that you could use time zone. Uh, but the main reason for knowing what the time is is to use the date object which in JavaScript just automatically works wherever we are, although there are certain instances where this doesn't just work out of the box. And in those instances, you can set the time zone uh, manually using libraries like moment.js, but I could dive into that for a while. So the last thing I'm gonna show you guys here is uh, right to left. You can actually change your language by going to the settings and uh, picking whichever language you want. I use Hebrew when I want to test right to left. Now I'm pretty sure this will restart my phone. <laughs> Alright, and now I get this lovely message which uh, it says restarting, or at least I assume it's saying restarting. Takes a while. This, um, this, this was a hard module to build, having to switch back and forth between different languages. Okay, sure, close enough. All right, so I've gone ahead and restarted my phone language. Now this is gonna be very tricky to navigate back from. As you can see, everything's a little, oh my goodness. Uh, all right, so it's going to restart all of your applications naturally as you might suspect and forgot which one it was there. Now when I open this up, you see the right to left variable is true um, and then translated language is still this overridden thing. I'm going to go ahead and log out what this language is. And as you can see, it's Hebrew US. And that is it for the basics of the Expo localization module. Now i got to figure out how to reset my phone language. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or tweet them at me, uh, at BaconBricks. And I will see you in the next video.